Uh, I'm Sean, and this is uh, Sean's Jeans. Yeah, so come into the studio and we'll get, get started. Cool. My late teens and in my 20s is when I really started sort of making clothes and like basically I measured my body and uh, worked out how to do a custom measure and then make merch for my bands that I was in so I'd just go to the op shops and buy old t-shirts and then me and my friends would just would just change them, would burn them, and put zips in them, and screen print over uh, the existing screen prints that were already on the sh on the shirts, and then um, convince my friends that uh, they should get me to make their jeans. I've designed this two-piece back yoke to help with the sway back on the females. And this also helps to hold the shape because of the stretched denim losing the shape. So, Yes, I will um, call you in a couple of weeks. Okay, bye. Yeah, I think it, um, at first it freaked everybody out because they used to walk in and go, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to walk into your shop because <laughs> I'd be working as well. And it's like, no, it's fine, come in. So it's the, yeah, people really get to see the process. It's a slower process, but sometimes you've got to wait that bit longer to get something that's handmade, quality and nice and it's also a nice feeling. So this is the uh, double clashing lightning bolts um, back pocket design. So yeah, my five year old son helped me come up with that design because we were talking about lightning bolts one day and I was like, that'd be good on the back pocket and he thought that'd be a great idea and then he calls lightning bolts, he used to call lightning bolts clashing. Thunder and lightning is clashing, so um, there's a double clashing. I put a lot of love into each pair of jeans. I spend 12 hours, pretty much, on each pair of jeans, from consultation through to making the pattern, redesigning some things, um, cutting, sewing, and then washing, and buttonholes, and then the design and stuff of the pockets or the leather patch or what, whatever coloured threads we're going to use. So it's a lot of time and a lot of love goes into the jeans, into the product. Because you know, we're only as good as our last pair of jeans, so and we rely heavily on um, Word of mouth. Feet are wearing inside out. Now I'm standing up. Now I'm holding. So I'm just top stitching the rise now. So, and that'll be the backs ready to join up to the fronts as soon as I finish them. The different options of jeans we can get is, um, well, you can get is we can do a skinny jean, we can do a a wash if you want and then we can take that skinny jean and turn it into a bell bottom skinny jean we can do a baggy jean we can do um, a salvage jean old school 50s rockabilly looking jean we can do high waist mid waist mid rises high rises low rises um, basically the different options of custom jean is unlimited Alright, one pair of custom jeans, finished. Now we go and give these a nice hot wash and a nice tumble dry to get the shrinkage out of it, should be about 6%. And then uh, we'll put some buttons and a nice little leather patch over there in the corner and give the um, customer a call and see how they go. I think it's more of a personal journey. It's like um, you're 
interacting with another human being on a level of trying to create something that's unique for yourself and I think that really brings um, something different and I think that's part of what you pay for a bit as well compared to just walking into a shop and buying a pair of jeans. You're buying into a creative process of a piece of clothing and it's and you know we put a lot of work and love and into the making the clothes and we want the clothes to last. I want to make your favourite pair of jeans and that's my ultimate goal.